Manual. Call the Alternative Medicine Family Care Center, 778-8877. Empowerment with Dr. Josefina Monasterio. Welcome back to Empowerment with Dr. Josefina, and I'm Laura Gutridge. Now we'd like to take a few moments to thank some of our sponsors. First off, we'd like to thank Valerie and Sarah from Salon V for providing Josefina and I with our fantastic hairstyles today. Thank you. thank you, ladies. They are located in the Edwards Plaza that's on the corner of 17th Street and Indian River Drive. Mm -hmm. Then, of course, we can't forget Jasmine's Boutique for providing Josefina with some of the lovely outfits you'll see her wearing on the show and her jewelry. Thank you. They are also, uh, they are on Ocean Drive and uh, it's across from the Palm Court Hotel. Exactly. So I have to stop in and see her. And also we like to thank you, the viewers, for all your feedback. <coughs> oh. Really, mm -hmm. really appreciate that every time you see us out there and, and tell us and you watch the show. It's awesome. It's wonderful. Please keep doing it. Absolutely. We, yes. We enjoy that. I also like to say one thing. I always have to say one thing. <laughs> maybe, maybe 10 or 12 things. Within the next few weeks, you have to keep tuning in because we are going to share with you wonderful, wonderful surprises from Laura and from me. Yes. So you have to stay tuned and you probably you want to email us guessing what is the surprise <laughs> that she has for you and that I had for you. So please email us. Is that okay? Oh, I'd love that. I, yeah. I wonder if anyone can guess. Yes, you will <laughs> never guess, but you can try. We can give them a prize. Yeah, if, anyone, if anyone guesses, we'll, we'll think of some little special like we thing. We can give you dinner. We can take you out for dinner. So uh -huh. if you want to go out with us, try. A little, little contest going. Yes, and there you or you can call at 778-8877 and guess what is going on. What is the super secret? And it's awesome. It's awesome. Okay, go ahead. Um, the lesson today. Who is in control of your life? You know, it seems like you say that there's two categories. People who sit back and kind of just let things happen mm -hmm. and wait for, you know, life to just take its course. And then those who take control. Exactly. And make things happen. Exactly. And then you talk about um, the internal and the external. Um, what exactly do you mean by that? Well, it's based on many, many studies in which they've <clears throat> found that are two type of people. People who are manage their life based on their personal responsibility. Mm -hmm. Those are the people that their locus or focus or control is within themselves. Mm -hmm. They don't see themselves as victims. They don't blame the circumstances or situations in which they find, they find themselves. Now, the external control mm -hmm. are those people who blame everything outside of them. Right. Okay, they blame the circumstances. They blame, blame the, the government, they blame their husbands and wives, they blame everything but them. So they are not mm -hmm. in charge of their emotions and their life. So that is the external control and internal control. So you want to have internal control in which you know that all your life <coughs> is based on your choices, decisions, and that's the consequence of that. So the internal control, that's yes. when, like a person saying that I know I can accomplish this goal, they, they do their affirmations and they see the, um, the future, how they want it. Exactly. And they go for it and they make it happen. Exactly. They are <coughs> not a victim of the outside forces. Right. They are no victims of the environment. They know that they have within them that what they call <coughs> self self-efficacy, which you know that you have within you the capacity, the ability to, to reach, like you said, go, right. to reach your goals. So the ones that like sit back and just, you know, la-di-da with their life, hoping that, you know, things will work out, they pro the reason they're probably so unsuccessful and unhappy with their life is because if they have that attitude, they're probably not even likely to try to make anything work. Exactly. And that's what separates those that try and those who just give up. Exactly. So. Exactly. So the people who sit there, you know, just <coughs> hang in there and relax to watch things happen, that's all you're going to get. You're just going right. to see your life passing by and everybody, the people who take action, 
-hmm. the people who are internal motivators, the, that motivation come from within, those are the people that make things happen. Yeah, because you can't expect someone else to make something happen for you. I mean, everyone's busy trying to make things happen for themselves. Exactly. So you have to worry about yourself and your own destiny. Yes. Um, what is this, uh, the verb to be? What I didn't understand that in the lesson. Well, that is, you know, that every single week I talk <laughs> about, you know, your affirmations and the self-talk. What happened, Laura, is that the verb to be, to be is the most common one, and it's I am. Mm -hmm. The main thing is I am. So every time that you say to yourself, and let's take, for, for instance, for example, let's use one that everybody does it. Like, oh, I'm, I am overweight, or I am fat. Mm -hmm. So what happened is you're creating a self-fulfilling prophecy, and on top of that, you deny, you distorting, distort, Right, distort. Mm -hmm. Distort. Distort. <laughs> it's rea your reality because mm -hmm. you are not mm -hmm. overweight. You are, that is only a part of you. So that was so important that this um this uh the the, the founder of semantics, uh what is his, his name? Alfred Alfred Burks? Alfred. Something, yeah. And the lesson I That's have in the, the last lesson. Name, so don't, we don't care about that. <coughs> but the most important thing is th that you have to be extremely careful how you talk to yourself because the words come from the thinking first, then you have the words, and then the action. The problem is mm -hmm. the action. So right. When, if you keep saying I am fat, I am fat, then it's like a fact that can't be changed. But, but look, you, you say I am. No, you are not. You are not. That is only a part, a part of you because you are a TV producer, or you are the owner of a business, you are a husband, you, have, you are a son, and so on and so on. So there are many portions or, or segments of your personality. So when you say, I am black, you deny yourself. I see. And oh, it's so unbelievable. Uh, well, how we can, you know, trick ourselves with language, exactly. you know, to either benefit us or hurt us. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So we have to change the way we talk to ourselves. Mm -hmm. And you know, one last thing, I know we're running out of time, um, you had mentioned to keep away from people who belittle your ambitions, ambitions and that small people tend to, you know, do that, and that successful people want to encourage you because exactly. they want you to be successful like they are. Exactly. You know, ex exactly. And I love that. That's true. Absolutely. You will all, the, the little people will tell you that you will never mm -hmm. make it. That because they didn't make it. Of course. So that's they, what, misery loves company. And yeah, that's what the little people. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> but success loves company too. Exactly. So we have to go, Jose? Oh, okay. oh, one minute. Oh, okay. We have one more minute. But, you so. Know, and, and so if you surround yourself with people who encourage you, that's going to give you the, uh, the hope and the ambition to want to make well, something. Let me tell you one thing. The latest uh, rejection that I got. Years, a few years ago, somebody will send mail to me about telling me that I should not be doing my show, that I was a disgrace. I've got people mail like that, nasty mail. You know That's what? Terrible. I have the trust of the, the owners of the TV station. <coughs> I have the trust and, and empowerment of my husband. I have good friends, and I have now you viewers that constantly tell me that is awesome. I have been for eight years. Exactly. exactly. And I've been doing it, Jose saying, for eight years. So that tells you that if I would listen to the people who send me the nasty mail, I would stop doing what I wanted to do with my life and I make a difference in my community. So you never give up when people tell you that you will, you will not be able mm, to do it. Absolutely. Isn't that amazing? It is. You know, when my husband was thinking about going to law school, so many people told him, oh, there's too many lawyers, you're not going to be successful. He's very successful. Exactly. And what do you do? You work on your skills. Mm -hmm. You work on what you need to improve. Absolutely. Okay, we're improving. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we're taking a break and we'll be right back with the lesson. Empowerment with Dr. Josefina Monasterio.